When I sculpt something, it's a very fluid process. I start out by roughly blocking out the form, slapping it on clay, and just using my hands to you know, manipulate everything. Uh, it's just a process of slowly refining and refining and adjusting and adding and fixing and taking away. And eventually you just get to a point where you have something that kind of looks like what you're going for. With his armor, I'm definitely going a very organic, torn and damaged and beaten armor style. It really, I think, is going to bring the character to life. Once the base shape is there, um, and I'm happy with it and the proportions are right, it starts a process of kind of refining the details, um, defining the shapes more, and going in and then adding the different textures, you know, all the little nicks and scratches and dents. Every little thing is you know, thoughtfully planned out and, and every detail is put in there on purpose. For this costume, I'm not picking one of the normal armor sets or one of the endgame sets. I'm actually going to be combining a bunch of different artwork um, and throwing my own spin on it to bring the necromancer to life. Obviously I want to stay very true to the feel and style and design of the character, but with a little spin on it. I'm you know, very excited to be bringing the Necromancer to life. It's a character that I'm playing right now and I, you know, I enjoy and I love and I love the, the lore and the history of. Getting to bring to life something that you know, I'm passionate about is the best experience. It's a lot of fun. So I only have a few more pieces to sculpt. Now that this one's done, this is a big one. I'm going to have to mold, cast, and paint everything after. And then it's building his weapon, figuring out makeup, and getting a little help on the sewing. I'll keep working, and see you soon.